Hi everyone! In this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to create an assembly that is ready for laser cutting. And that will include previewing it so that you can actually see and visualize exactly what it's going to look like, both with the materials as well as um, how everything's going to be jointed and slotted and glued together. Um, so there is a bunch of videos that we're going to be walking you through this process. Uh, but before you get started, you need to make sure that you've done a few things. Make sure that you're a bit familiar with Fusion 360, that you're comfortable navigating and drawing simple shapes. Make sure you've checked in with your teacher about your design, or at the very least, if you're doing this at home, make sure that you have a good design uh, that you're happy with, that you've drawn on paper. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have a photo or a scan of that design on your computer, because part of this process is actually going to be um, using that photo as a reference. So that is um, the basics, and now we can get started. Basically, in order to get to this point, the first step is to set up our project. And you're going to want to create a new project, but the dimensions need to be set for inches for this project. We're going to be using inches. So you have to go up to the top, you go to my profile. Um, oops, sorry. You go to preferences, not my profile. Uh, and then you go to default units, design, and make sure this is set to inches. You do not want this to be set to um, millimeters for this one. So make sure it's set to inches. Then once you have that, you go to file and you go to new design. Then this design should be in inches. You can check in the document settings. If you drop down menu here, it says units inches. Okay. Now you can modify this uh, in there as well. You can change the active units in a new in your project, but I'd rather you just set your settings at the top. Now that we have this, we have to create our dimensions. So we're going to create our first sketch on the ground plane, and that's going to be a rectangular box that I'm going to start. I'm going to create it in the corner. I'm going to go up on the positive, um, the positive y-axis and positive x-axis and we're going to want this to be 9 and then we want this dimension here to be set to 7 because we're creating a 7 by 9 dimensioned um, as our these are our maximum bounds now, if you're doing this from home, maybe you have different boundaries for your laser cutter, but this is the requirements for this project. Once you have that done, you can press finish sketch. But to make it a little bit more helpful, we can actually um, have the dimensions visible. So we can right click here and choose show dimensions. And then also we don't wanna make it so we can click it all the time. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna choose hide profile. So now the edges are still available for reference and I can actually align things to the edges, but the profile, the face is not gonna get in the way and so it's a lot easier to build something inside this box. That's the basics. Now, before we finish this intro video, the last thing that you're gonna need is your canvas. So that's the image that you use to actually um, draw your design based off of. And so what we use is um, in here, there's something called, a, in, if you go to the insert menu, there's something called a canvas, which basically allows you to create a reference image. And that, we're gonna put that canvas right in the center of our scene and align it with the box. So we choose insert canvas. And then from here, you'll choose insert from my computer to find the canvas on your desktop or wherever you saved it. In my case, I'm going to be making a rocket ship design with the planet and the rocket ship in a stand flying, kind of launching off into the air. And I have this 
2D reference photo that I drew, which isn't absolutely perfect, but it's good enough that I can use this to make my um, more precise design in Fusion 360. I choose insert canvas, insert for my computer. I go to desktop, reference photos, rocket ship, open. I choose a plane, which is gonna be this one. And then I'm gonna change the position and orientation. And lastly, I'm gonna change the scale of my plane to about probably around 10, maybe 11, 11's a bit too much. Let's say 10.25. Let's try that. That's looking pretty good. And then move it into position. Now this would base, the scale would depend on the resolution that you scanned it at. It might actually need to be scaled down depending on how big and high quality your photo is. Um, but the key here is to make sure that the edges are um, roughly in line with the boundary. So here I have my uh, the image is actually going a bit beyond that, but this line here is what I'm looking for, and that looks pretty close. And then on this side, it's a little bit off. I might want to move it 0 0.05 over. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and the scan was slightly crooked. We can see that it's not quite square. If you're really picky, you could do like a one degree rotation or even um, or even like a half degree rotation. Um, I think what is the negative that I need? Yeah, that straightened it out a little bit. You could adjust it um, if you really wanted to, but uh, you can also just have just when you make your design, you make sure that it's square. But that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That I press OK, and now I have my sketch laid out. I can see here at the bottom, it's not quite aligned in the bottom anymore. The key is, as long as the final design is lined up um, to the boundary, that's what matters. And oh, there's one thing you can do. You can always go back to the canvas. You can right click, you can go edit canvas. You can adjust the transparency here. So you can make it like fully opaque or slightly transparent however you like. And then that way uh, it doesn't interfere too much with the design that you're making. That's that. So that's the intro of getting your canvas loaded and the boundary box set. So the next video is going to talk about how to sketch shapes. So tune in next time. Thanks for watching.